with me as a technical person, of course I'm excited about feeds and speeds and accelerators and, and processors. But at the end of the day, it's the capacity, it's the ability for Big Red 2 to enable our researchers from disciplines from medicine and engineering to physics and astronomy to make those life-changing discoveries or enable those life-changing discoveries uh, for not only Hoosiers but for people all around the world. The advantage that we'll see with Big Red 2 is up to, we calculate about a 25-fold increase in throughput. So, for example, uh, an analysis of human genome alignment that would take 197 days, we now project to complete in eight days. Supercomputers like Big Red 2 enable us to do simulation and modeling at scales that are not possible if we try to study things directly. So this can help in things like disaster management or maybe crop management so you can understand from a bigger picture what's happening to the ground below you. We would like to turn uh, solar energy, carbon dioxide and water into fossil fuels. Um, and so um, this is a technology that will provide a solution to the energy crisis that we have currently. And with the new supercomputer coming online, we're very excited because we can now um, not only carry out our research more efficiently, but we can um, now do calculations that we were dreaming about doing that we couldn't do because the computers weren't just um, fast enough.